what's up guys it's mag105 here and today i'm back with another commentary i made this literally exactly after the last one like right as i cut off this is that match um so i'm this commentary i'm going to be talking about the uh modern warfare 3 creative class system now this is my favorite creative class system just because it it, it just makes sense it's simple it's not overly complicated so basically you'd get a weapon and you'd be able to, and with the weapons you got proficiencies and you got attachments so proficiencies were like mini perks if you will the attachments would be uh you know pretty simple it'd be roughly the same things you'd get now you had rapid fire you had one thing which is a heartbeat sensor you could get on assault rifles and sniper rifles it was, it was weird um, it was pretty bad as well um but you'd have your uh, red dots, your holographic sight, that's it, those were the only two optics. Um, and they were with the attachments, they weren't separate. Uh, so you had those, then you had uh, things like a grip, uh, fast, or not fast mags, extended mags, presser, stuff like that. And so, what the proficiencies were, like I said, they were like mini perks. So when you level up a gun, you either got an attachment or you got a proficiency. So, the attachments, like I said, were pretty much the same as they are now. They just had different ones. The proficiencies, they're quite different. Because they were different for each type of weapon you used. And, I, honestly, I really like the proficiencies. The proficiencies provided a little more customization without going over the top. For instance, you can only equip one attachment. N normally, but one of the proficiencies was you could equip two attachments, um, and so you know I kind of like that. Um, so you had that for the weapons, uh, the, you know the proficiencies and stuff like that. So for snipers, you had like hold your breath longer and stuff like that. And so then you had a lethal and a tactical. This was not like a Black Ops One where you had lethal, tactical, and equipment. This was just a lethal and tactical. So you had a frag, I'm pretty sure you had a Semtex, uh, th throwing knife, um, that was, as far as I remember, tactical. Oh yeah, no, you had a Claymore, you had Bouncing Betty, as for tactical, you had stun grenades, flash grenades, uh, smoke. Profit kill. That was basically it, I think. You didn't really have much in terms of, uh, like, that type of equipment. You know, your perks were, were, pre were pretty good. Um... You know, they, there was nothing really special about the perks. They were just perks, and that's it. And that's one of the reasons I like them. There's, they're not overly complicated. They're just perks. You equip them, whatever. So, the kill streaks is what was interesting about this one. I didn't go over the kill streaks in the Black Ops One video, um, but to be honest, I didn't have time. The kill streaks in Modern Warfare Three were interesting because see, you had three sets of kill streaks. Okay, so you had lethal streaks, support streaks, and then I can't remember uh, I can't remember exactly what they were called, but uh, I'll explain them a bit later. So lethal kill streaks were just your standard, you know, ones, attack helicopter, predator missile, stuff like that. Your lethal or your support kill streaks were well, pretty self-explanatory, their support. UAV, counter UAV, care package, it didn't have many, you got an EMP towards the end, and uh, the key with the support kill streaks was, um, is that it doesn't, it didn't matter if you died, you still kept your kill streak. So, I used it a lot, honestly, because I was really bad at the time at Call of Duty. I mean, I still am, but, you know, nowhere near as bad as it was back then. And so, the third set of killstreaks was basically perks. So, what would happen is, at uh, intervals, I believe it was like after two, yeah, no, uh, after three kills, six kills, and then eight kills, or something like that. Um, no, I believe, no, after three kills, five kills, and then eight kills, I think it was, you got uh, basically... A different perk you could choose what perks you wanted EKI. now when you got eight kills that was really interesting because see when you got eight kill when you got uh, like eight kills right you would get every single perk in the game at once 
So you basically became like a god. <laughs> like you had every single perk in the game. Now it was pretty easy to die in that game, so it was it was it was hard to get that. Uh, it was not easy to uh, to get all eight. Uh, you know, all the eight kills, despite what it sounds like, because the maps were small. Uh, the SMGs were, well, honestly, overpowered. But, um, but you know, it, w when you got it, it was really, really nice. Because you had every perk in the game. And see, what you could do, um, I believe it was called Hardline. Don't quote me on that. I think it was hard, called Hardline. Or basically, it would reduce the amount of kills you'd need for a kill streak. So now, to actually get every single perk, you, if you equip that as one of your normal perks, your standard perks, then what would happen is you wouldn't have to get 3, 5, and 8 kills. You'd be able to get 2, 4, and 7 kills. So <laughs> most people, if they were going for Moabs, which was like the nuke um, in that game, that's what they went with. Um, and you know, honestly, I really like that. I think it's my favorite creative class system because it was just simple. It wasn't overly complicated. But anyways, that's just my opinion though. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But anyways, guys, with that being said, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you enjoyed it.